Hello guys, this is Raptamon132 here, and welcome to my 7th blind commentary video post of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 7. Yep, uh, as you all know, I did Episode 6. Uh, today, I'll be looking at Episode 7. Huh. Episode 7 of Season 7. 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, whatever. But anyway, the episode... Yeah, anyway, I'm going to be reacting to the seventh episode, and this one is called Parental Glidance. Interesting. Huh. Well, first of all, this sounds like it's playing a tie. This sounds like it's it's like playing on the on the thing of parental guidance, which means. Uh, you know, parental as in, you know, parents guiding their children. Actually, come to think of it, I think I know what this episode's going to be about. Like, parental glidance. Instead of guidance, it's glidance. Ah, I think I know what this is going to be about. Like, my guess is that... This is possibly going to be an episode involving Scootaloo, and if it says parental glidance, it means we'll probably get to see Scootaloo's parents. Close, but no. Yeah, like glidance, as in they probably teach her how to fly because I know that Scootaloo, uh, like, can't fly yet. So maybe this is an episode to teach Scootaloo how to fly. Like that's what I think anyway. But, yeah, I think this episode is going to be about Scootaloo learning how to fly by her parents. And, you know, what, and if it's true, we finally get to see Scootaloo's parents. Because, because if I remember, we haven't seen Scootaloo's parents yet. And, although I do know for a fact that we do ha that Scootaloo does have two aunts. Uh... Lofty and Holiday. Like, I know about that, but... Although, I have actually made up what I think Scootaloo's parents are, but it was in a story I wrote. That was Storm Dasher and Firefly. And in my story, Scootaloo's parents were actually... Yeah, that's who I, re that's who I believe Scootaloo's parents are. Like, Storm Dasher was a character that I created, and Firefly is reused of the character from C from G1. But... But, yeah, uh... But I guess many people have speculated what Scootaloo's parents are. So, I think this is the episode where we get to see Scootaloo's parents for the first time. If that is, I'm excited, but... Also, at the same time, I'm somewhat a little disappointed because of the thing I... because of that story I wrote, that big novel story, that a pop star, a princess, and a prisoner. Yeah, I have a feeling that I'll have to put that as... I'll have to mark that story as alternate universe now, if that's the case. But... I guess we'll see, but... Anyway... I guess the only way to find out is to actually watch the episode, but I really hope that it is about Scootaloo and her parents, because, you know, it's possible, but yeah, I guess the only way to find out is to watch the episode. Oh, I've been rambling for like over four minutes, but yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Here we go. Okay. Huh. What are they up to this time? <laughs> but simple brigade. What? It's just you want to come. But we talked about this. Non Pegasus ponies fall through the clouds. Oh. Cloudsdale. I think we're good. Is she planning to go to Cloudsdale? Is that where Scootaloo's parents are? Your report. I'm just wondering if this huh? is the best way to get there. It'll be fine. Report. Besides, how else 
could I get there? A Pegasus chariot? A flock of birds? A hot air balloon? Huh. Yeah, it that seem a lot safer. Yeah, Maybe true. I should try to find another <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Ooh. Ooh. Nailed it. Just made it. What? No in the Sam, are you all right? Who's that? Huh? Who is that? And who is this? Your, your, your Rainbow Dash is dead! Rainbow's dad? Uh, yes. Bo Hothoof at your service. Bo Hothoof, huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, that is without a doubt the cutest thing Scootaloo's ever done. And I guess that, I guess I know what this episode's about now. This is about Scootaloo meeting Rainbow Dash's parents, not her own. Well, as I say this every time, I guess that throws my theory out the window. Oh well. So we get to meet Rainbow's parents for the first time. That's cool. Oh, yeah. oh God! Uh, honey, what? Oh, whoa! Hang on a minute. If that's Scootle, if that's Rainbow Dash's dad, I just realized. If that's Rainbow Rainbow's dad, then then who the fuck was that other stallion? Yeah, uh, sorry, I remember... Sorry to do this, but I, I just remembered. I just... It just hit me just now. Rainbow's dad looks completely different from the Rainbow that... From Rainbow's dad that I remember. Like, I remember in, in, an, episode of, in an episode of Season 3, where Rainbow was with a stallion in a flashback. It was... I think it was the Equestria Games one. Who was that? Was that an uncle? Like, why did they change Rainbow Dash's dad's design? Or, or actually, oh, I don't know. But maybe it might have been an uncle, or maybe it's her brother. Or oh, I don't know. I just realized that. Sorry, sorry. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I'll just have to rewind back because you know. Well, yeah. I just realized I've any sorry. I All right, before this gets too awkward, let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Scootaloo. <laughs> uh, honey, something's going on out here. Oh, Rainbow's mum. Huh, look at her. <laughs> oh, Scootaloo. What's wrong with her? Yeah, I can see where Rainbow gets her mother's looks from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how they're using their wigs as fingers to plug their ears. You might shatter my princess your commemorative plates. Too late. I'm so sorry. Well, nothing like a repair I spell can help. My name's Scootaloo, and I'm doing a school report on your daughter. Our Rainbow Dash? The reports on an inspirational pony in my life. <laughs> That's a wag. Uh huh. I'm putting together this scrapbook for my report. I'm our biggest fan. <laughs> well, we, we noticed. Daughter, what you say is impossible because no pony is a bigger what? fan of our Rainbow Dash than us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving these two already. Do you always wear that shirt? <laughs> Actually, it's uh, laundry day. But pretty great, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My name's Windy Whistles, and I just have Windy to Whistles. A total blast to meet. <laughs> so, Bo Hartoof and Windy Whistles. So that's Rainbow Dash's parents' names. <laughs> Interesting. And come to think of it, I could probably see where Rainbow Dash gets her looks. Like she gets her her coat and 
fem feminine looks from her mother, and she gets her main color and strength, pos possible strength, from her father. That's what I can see. <laughs> yeah, interesting parent designs. Oh well. Yeah, it's good to see Rainbow's parents at last, even though uh, Rainbow's parent uh, father has actually changed. Well, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look this up a little more. Like, I might have to research who that stallion was. Or shouldn't I not do that because of spoilers? Well, either way, uh, yeah, anyway, let's continue. Some pony that loves Rainbow Dash as much as we do. What can we <laughs> help you with? Well, I know all about Rainbow Dash's time in Ponyville, but I don't know anything about her life before that. Well, you came <laughs> to the right place. That's a nice house. <gasps> Here you go. Rainbow Dash's favorite meal. What's that? A pasta and potato sandwich on sourdough. A pasta? A pasta and potato sandwich on sourdough? Rainbow Dash's favorite food. Okay. By Rainbow Dash's mom. Might have to try that. Rainbow Dash's childhood kitchen. This is the greatest day of my life. That is a nice house. Fucking pig! Ugh! Yuck! Tour of the house. <laughs> she put this. Ew! Don't Bob talk with your mouthful. An early learner and so rambunctious. The combination uh. was. Excited. Hey, wait! What are the? Hey, odd. Wait a sec. Rainbow Dash had braces as a kid, and a retainer. <laughs> Who knew? I guess that's something you don't. That's something I didn't know. Rainbow Dash used to wear braces and have a retainer. Yeah, who knew? Okay, continue. Wow. <laughs> it's cool, it's taking pictures of everything. <laughs> Is that her room? Ah, her bedroom. Oh, <laughs> I thought there he is this time. <laughs> Huh? When the going gets tough, the tough don't notice because they have hard shells. What? That's so rainbow. Dash. The going gets tough. They. Hey on. That poster and that phrase. That's probably where she got the thing for tank and that phrase. When the going gets tough, the the tough don't notice because they have hard shells. That. Like, I know the other saying, which is, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. <laughs> okay, I uh, guess that's a different, that's another way of putting it. Okay. Alright, continue. <laughs> Scootily's having a good time. What's that? <laughs> it's like a gateway to heaven. <laughs> oh god, that face! Oh, it's the trophy room. What? I uh, installed the sound effects myself. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! She was wearing it when she spoke her first words. What? A <laughs> fucking nappy? <laughs> okay. And this broken lantern is from when she first learned to fly. What? And this bitten apple is from when she grew her first tooth. What? <gasps> so many memories. What? You're Wait a minute. They have trophies for her for everything? <laughs> I just realized something. The way they're showing the trophies, it, that kind of reminds me of... Reminds me of when we saw... Uh, Launchpad McQuack's parents and DuckTales in the episode Top Duck. Now, this is Launchpad right after he crash landed in his crib. And this is right after he crashed in his high chair. Oh, and this is right after he crashed his first soapbox racer. Oh, 
Crash Pad always wanted to fly, and you know he never gave up. Crash after crash after crash. Yeah, launch pad could crash even before he could walk. Yeah, I remember that episode. It's one of the episodes of DuckTales I saw as a kid, and for some reason, that's reminding me of that. They're kind of like Launchpad McQuack's parents from DuckTales. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sorry, I sh sorry, continue. So lucky to have all of these. Well, I may have a ton of Dash Mentos, but I don't have any of those Rainbow Dash Saves Ponyville headlines like you. Huh? Tradesies? Dealsies! <laughs> Tradesies. Oh, <laughs> she gave her the fucking nappy! <laughs> Probably stick it like shit. collection of Wonderbolt memorabilia? No, I mean, where's all the stuff about <laughs> Rainbow Dash getting accepted into the Wonderbolt Academy and then getting chosen as a Wonderbolt? What? Wait, you don't know that your daughter's a Wonderbolt? And they don't know. To tell you? She never told them? Uh... What? Oh, wow! You should see your faces right now! Ah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Our daughter's a Wonderbolt? You didn't know? What? <laughs> <Very tiny. laughs> I just, I just, yeah. Unbelievable. You two were kind enough to join the Rainbow Dash. Oh, God. Now, please. Allow me to Sorry. show you the I'm... Rainbow Dash I know. <laughs> they, she never told her parents that she was part of the Wonderbolts? Surely they would have read the papers. Make some I was born to make okay. Huh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the parents! <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, <laughs> yep. She okay. didn't. The answer to that question is... Nobody! I guess they're with me. It's nice of you to lie, Rainbow. Mom, Dad, so good. I guess she doesn't you. like her parents. Oh, honey, it's so great to see you too. And wow, you were so <laughs> amazing up there with all of that flying. Uh, how did you know I was here? Scootaloo filled us in on everything. You modest pony, you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm documenting the moment your parents first saw you as a Wonderbolt. Okay. <laughs> that photo. Oh, she still got the fucking sandwich in there. I'm Windy Whistles, the mom of the best Wonderbolt ever. Yeah! Just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And <laughs> wing shake. Goggles. Love them. You know, I have goggles too, but they're mostly just for swimming. Oh, and bath time. <laughs> bath time. Um, please. <laughs> they don't want to hear about your bath time. Oh, <laughs> Rainbow. Come on. Lighten up. I'm sure your mum was only kidding about that. She was pro- Yeah, I could sit- Yeah, Rainbow needs to lighten up, because, you know, she pro- Like, I'm sure her mother was only kidding about that. Alright. But anyway, I could see that Rainbow didn't tell her parents, like, maybe it's because she feels a bit embarrassed about it, but or something. I could just see it. But, yeah. Anyway, continue. My daughter, a wonderful <laughs> <laughs> liquid pride. Hold it together. We're in public. I know, I know, it, but it's just you had a goal and <laughs> you achieved it. <laughs> <laughs> so much liquid pride. <laughs> I'm so dad burn proud of you. I'm about to explode. <laughs> All right, wonderbolts. Let's hit the showers and give Rainbow Dash some time to spend with her family. Okay. Okay, yeah. A great practice. I'll uh 
I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Hm. Okay. Sir, you really raised a great flyer. <laughs> oh no. Good compliment. Tears welling up again. <laughs> 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 yeah, over emotional liquid fried. Could you give us a sec? Is something wrong? Yeah. You should have warned me that you were bringing my parents, or talked to Twilight or something. Not just shown up. She Why? did. It's just my parents and I have a delicate relationship. I love really? them very much, and we're really close. But there's a reason I didn't tell them I'm a Wonderbolt. It can be a little bit embarrassing, huh? Well, maybe a little. Really? I could say. Yeah, really. So now you've invited a whole lot of crazy into my life. It wasn't her fault. <laughs> yeah, I I could see it. Rainbow actually doesn't want her par she didn't want her parents around by thinking that her parents are embarrassing. Well, maybe they might be a little, but you know, it's typical uh you know. Yeah. But it's kind of ironic. If you, well, it's it's actually it's actually come to think of it, I'm surprised that Rainbow isn't like would be embarrassed about that because from what I understand, Rainbow Dash has a huge like loves the attention. You know, she's a huge attention lover. Like she loves being the center of attention and the celebrity. But when it comes to her parents yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of different, you know, with your parents. Like, when it comes to your parents, but... Yeah, I guess that's probably why she didn't tell them, because she didn't want all the... All the attention from her parents. But from complete strangers. But... Oh, well. But... But, you know, it really wasn't Scootaloo's fault, because how was Scootaloo supposed to know about that? But, oh well, I guess, uh, in fact, I'm actually wondering, why didn't they actually know that, that Rainbow Dash was a Wonderbolt? Because it's obvious that they could have shown it in the newspapers, or, like, they had Wonderbolt posters everywhere, including merchandise of Rainbow Dash, like, possible merchandise of them showing Rainbow Dash. That could easily be, you know... It wouldn't take them long to figure it out, otherwise, or unless they're, they're, they completely close themselves off from the news or something. But I'm wondering, how come they didn't know that sooner? Like, even without Rainbow Dash telling him. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to figure this out later, but yeah. Anyway, continue. <coughs> Yeah. And Sweetie Belle. Huh. Hello. Greetings, <laughs> small ponies. Are you excited to see Rainbow Dash? Oh my, yes. And to think we never bothered to come to a Wonderbolt event. We said if Rainbow <laughs> Dash isn't okay. a Wonderbolt, then what's the point? But now she is. And she and did you know, it all started when she won a spot in the coveted Wonderbolt Academy, training under Spitfire. Uh-huh. Didn't know that. Yep. How wonderful. But then she had some heavy competition, especially against another Pegasus named Lightning Dust. Oh yes, I remember. But of course, Rainbow Dash proved to be the best and later made it into the Wonderful Reserves. Hooray again! Hmm. Jealous ex Wonderbolt, Windrider, was worried that Rainbow Dash might break. Oh the yes, the scumbag Windrider. He framed her for a crime she didn't commit. How did she get oh, no. those kind of look like screenshots Mary, from the episode? Rainbow Dash proved her innocence and became a backup Wonderbolt. Until Fire Streak retired and she Fire Streak official Wonderbolt. Fire Streak. Wow. Well, huh. What a gripping tale. You really know your Well, Rainbow in a brief Dash. sense. You're going to do great on your report. Huh. Show's about to start. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. That she looks like Rainbow. Yep, now she looks like Rainbow. Like Windy Whistles looks like Rainbow. Go Rainbow Dash! Best Wonder Bolt ever! That's my daughter! Go Rainbow! Go Dashy! Go, 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 go! Okay. Well, not bad. Your folks were definitely loud, but they weren't that bad. Yeah, it's... Whoa. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. We add fireworks to the show. Oh, wait. Uh, did they? We didn't. Oh, fireworks, they did. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow's the word, Fleetfoot. <laughs> All right. Hey, autograph Go sections. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Poor Rainbow. Oh god. Oh! Oh shit! Rainbow cut off Spitfire's tail! Oh shit! Oh, Spitfire's gonna have your ass for that rainbow! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Yep, Spitfire's gonna have your ass for that later! <laughs> oh, God! Well, yeah, to be fair, Rainbow was sort of distracted. But, yeah, but... Oh, God. Alright, well... <laughs> okay, continue. Carol loves you, yeah! Oh, that's fun. Let's do the pyramid! Scootaloo, get up there! You're the top! Okay. You got yourself your very own mega fans. Lucky you. Maybe. And it doesn't look like... Oh! Hey, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Do you got yourself uh, also, first off, Spitfire doesn't look like she's pissed off anymore about it. Or maybe she's just covering it up and she's gonna have her ass later. Well, anyway, Very yeah. Hang on. Lucky you. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, I know those ponies. Those were the ponies from season uh, six. What were their names again? Uh... Oh, uh, I actually I remember the the vapor trail and uh, oh damn it I forgot the the cult the stallion's name oh, shit oh, of all the things to forget I forget the stallion's name but I know that's vapor trail and uh, the other stallion I forgot I forgot that stallion's name. Oh, I'll have to look this up later, but I, I'm so, I'm really sorry I forgot that name. But, yeah, I'm really sorry. I'll have to look that up later. Alright, uh, sorry, continue. Hey, that was Thunder Lane. Oh. <laughs> you hung that towel. Yeah. Ow! Ow. Alright, that's going to leave. That's, uh... Yep, she's going to blow. Oh boy. Brace yourselves, folks. Things are about to get ugly. Stop! Yep. This is ridiculous. Mom and Dad, I knew that was coming. Too supportive. This is exactly why I didn't tell you I was a Wonderbolt. You're just too much. Did, Ooh. did we do something wrong? Yes! The fireworks, the cheerleading, how do you even compare who is better or worse at hanging off a towel? She has a point. 
We're well, just trying to be supportive. Yeah. Well, I'm tired of it. I've had enough of Ooh. you being so proud of every little ridiculous, insignificant thing I do. Ouch. I think you should leave. First of all, great job yelling at us, sweetie. No one Aww. can make their parents feel more worthless than you. You're correct, clear, and so painful. That is painful is to watch. You can't do? <laughs> what a stupid, ungrateful bitch! Why? Scootaloo, oh. you don't understand. I met your parents hoping to learn more about you, but I don't like what I found out. I'll find something oh. else to do my hero report on. Oh. Yeah, you should be feeling bad, Rainbow. Although, to be fair, their parents, her parents did go a little far, but I could see that both Rainbow and her parents were both in the right and wrong. But that was actually harsh. I've heard of reject, I've heard of parent rejection, but that was the pits. But yeah, oh, all right. But that, it was actually hard to watch, but yeah, all right, continue. Scootaloo, wait! I know I wasn't myself back there, and I shouldn't have snapped at my parents. That's exactly why I didn't tell them I'm a Wonderbolt. I don't understand. They're so proud of you. <sighs> Can I tell you something? Sure. Okay, yeah. but you might want right. to hold on to your wings because this could rock you to your very core. Really? Why? Believe it or not, there was a time when I wasn't the best at everything. <gasps> really? See this picture? It looks like I want something awesome, but actually... And last but not least, it's time to hand out our participant stickers. Ah, she came last. Yeah. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? I gotta see that again. Who are the ones? Oh! I see, she came dead last at... Who was the winners? What? Derpy? Derpy was first? Derpy came first at... I don't believe that! Derpy was the first? Was the best flyer? Yeah, I can under I can actually see who they are. Like Thunderlane there, uh, Hoops and uh, Dumbbell right there. Yeah, the two asshole Colts. Uh, Saw in there. Uh, Lightning Dust, Spitfire, uh, Fleetfoot. Uh, I don't know who those fillies are. So Rainbow was the last one. Was was last and Ra and. Derpy came first? I don't believe that. Alright, uh, alright, continue. Yeah! <laughs> Look at her parents then. Yeah, Aww. Uh, your parents realize you didn't win, don't they? Oh, I think they do, but they don't give a shit. Granted, I was the youngest pony in the senior competitive circuit. Most other ponies okay. age were still in the junior flappers club. I thought it was utterly mortifying having my parents cheer me on even when I lost. But then, when I started to win competitions, okay. which what? didn't take very long, Duh. by the way, things got even worse. Well, hang on. Let me see that again. Hang on. Let me see that. I started to win comp huh? competitions, which D didn't take very long, by the way. Hey. Things got even worse. Wait. Derpy came... Like, Derpy started to lose her... Started to become cross-eyed back then. And eventually, Lightning Dust came first, and then Rainbow started to come first. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> she become number one. Being the best came with consequences. Very loud, very embarrassing consequences. Aw. Yeah, it can be lonely at the top. The ponies would dream of having parents like that. Yeah, right. They won. Yeah. Me. You? Growing up, I never thought I'd be the best at anything because no pony ever told me. But your parents Ooh. told you over and over again. Whoa. Did Scootaloo say what I thought she said? She s she said that she would never be the best at anything because no pony ever told her? Does that mean she's an orphan? Well, actually, that means she doesn't have any parents. Like, she said, well, well, surely her aunts would have told her. Like, if I understand, Scootaloo has two aunts, Lofty and Holiday. I know about that. But, I didn't think that Scootaloo was an orphan. Well, actually, her aunts would have probably told her that. Unless her aunts are bitches. Well, I don't know. Well, I probably shouldn't actually say that, but... Well, actually, I don't even know them. I've never even met them, or... or never even se seen them, and I've never read about them. I've only just heard of them. But... Yeah, uh... That is just... Wow. Uh, I'm sorry to pause so much, but... This is just taking a lot... This is... This is a lot to take in. It means that Scootaloo doesn't have a mother and a father. That That's horrible. Or... Or unless her her mother and father abandoned her. And... Or, or actually, that might be going a little dark. But... But yeah... Uh, that's a lot to take in. Gosh. Alright, uh, alright, sorry, continue. Look! Best bath taker ever. Best carrot eater under three. Okay. Greatest napper of all time. <laughs> Greatest napper. <laughs> I am pretty good at napping. I can fall asleep anywhere. <sighs> <laughs> mm. So we see. Huh? Ew. You drool. Your entire life, your parents gave you the confidence to believe in yourself. Yeah. You're right. I was they did. so embarrassed by my parents that I didn't realize their support actually made me the awesome, confident, amazing, awesome, and awesome pony I am. That's three awesomes. And I took them for granted. And you yelled at them. Yeah. Said hurtful things that you'd regret. I have an idea, but I'm gonna need your help. That is, if you're willing to help me after I acted like that. What? Now that's a great picture. Rainbow Dash learns the error of her ways. Okay. I'm telling you, I just can't see a thing. Scootaloo, you were just so great at blindfolds. It's true. Huh. You must tell me what kind of knot you used. Uh, falconer's knot? Wait, no! A farmer's loop. What's this all about? What? Anywho. I'm surprised they're, they're not still upset. Please be seated for a super private wonderful event! And they should know their daughter's voice. What? That they made me who I am today, so I really want to make it up to them. Event. That's quite a title. It's a working title. Event. But I guess it's a working title. Huh. All right. Okay. Huh. 
That's impressive. Mom and Dad, I want you to know that I'm your biggest fan. Aww. Oh, honey, thank you. But you didn't have to do all this. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Says them. Says them. And that's why <laughs> Rainbow Dash is the most inspirational pony in my life. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, Scootaloo. Yeah, I clap too. But a little heavy on the pictures, and there was a moldy sandwich in Oh your no, head. she didn't. Give you a B. Yeah. B. Great. That's average. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at Scootaloo. Oh, shut up. Oh. You're a McQuack, son. Right down to your tail section. Don't you agree, McDuck? Hey, <laughs> He's a real chip off the old propeller. Oh, God. <laughs> well, what do I have to say? This episode, I think, was very enjoyable. Like, I really love seeing Rainbow Dash's parents. Even though, like I mentioned before, Rainbow's dad is designed differently now. Like, he wasn't a big brawny stallion that had a uh, five o'clock shadow and, uh, you know, like almost like a royal guard type body shape. Like, from what I understand, he was a average side stallion that that had Rainbow's mane and uh, and a slightly darker shade of cerulean blue than Rainbow did. But yeah, that I don't know why they changed that style, or it could be an like I don't know whether it's Rainbow's dad, like. A f an early design of Rainbow's dad, or maybe it was like an uncle, or maybe a, or maybe if by chance her older brother. But I don't know if Rainbow has an older brother. But yeah, it it's kind of confusing. Well, I might have to look this up later. Well, I don't know if I should, if it might contain spoilers. But actually, I don't think it would. But maybe it's safe. But, yeah. And, you know, seeing her interact with her parents, like, finding out the inspiration, like, finding, like, the relationship that Rain Rainbow has with her parents. You know? Like, Rainbow's parents are really proud of her. And, you know, they gave her all the support and all of that, even if it was a little bit embarrassing and over the top. But, you know... Rainbow, she, like, from what I understand, Rainbow loves all the attention. Like, she, lo she's an attention lover, because, you know, she loves being the center of attention. Like, everyone cheering for her and all of that, but, yeah. But I guess, you know, like I mentioned before, uh, that kind of treatment from your parents is different to people from complete strangers or friends treating it like that. I guess it's different. Or maybe it's not different. But, yeah, who knows. But, I could probably understand why Rainbow didn't tell her parents, because, you know, they were a little bit over the top. But, they're still lovable. I still love them. Like, I think they're actually my favorite parents now, because, uh, yeah, and the way that Rainbow just lashed out at them, which I actually saw that coming, like, I knew Rainbow was going to lash out and probably say, yell at them and say something that she would regret, I saw that coming a mile away, but yeah, because, but you know, I think both Rainbow and her parents were both in the right and wrong, because they were proud of her, but didn't need to go really over the top, but that's probably just their character. And Rainbow, she needed to give, 
Like, she needed to tell her parents off, but she didn't need to yell at them and... Possibly... Like, be rude to them and all that, but... Yeah. I could see both Rainbow and her parents both being in the right and the wrong. Yeah, they both had a right and... and wrongs. But, yeah. Although... I should actually mention that I kind of understand Rainbow's under like Rainbow's thing because because I have parents sort of like that too but instead of being proud of me they're actually worried about me like they always worry about every yeah as Rainbow said every single like small insignificant thing I do or I think that's what she said Yeah, or... But... Yeah. Like, the reason they do is because... Because, you know, believe... To those of you who don't know, I actually have Asperger's. Or, I'm autistic. So... Yeah. In fact, when I actually told them I was part of the Brony fandom, they actually... They actually didn't take it well. It was like if I just went up to them and said, Hey, Mum and Dad, I'm gay. Which I'm not. But it's like that. You know, it's not like I went up to them and said I'm gay or anything. And... You know... But you know... They... Because, you know, my parents, you know, they're old school. They... Not really as open, but, you know, in this day and age, parents these days are more open. You know? It does, like, just because you like something that you didn't expect doesn't mean you, like, it doesn't make you any less of a man or any less of a woman. You know? But... It's kind of like, it's sort of the same as that, but you know, my parents, they can, they, they can be, a, they can be concerned and worry, worried about every, about almost anything I do because of my autism, because of my, because of what happened to me in the past, of past experiences, but I'm far more controlled, I'm more wiser, I'm more, I'm much better than I was as a kid. So, it's sort of the same, but the opposite of, you know, it's sort of the same with, with my parents, with Rainbow Dash's parents, except my parents are more concerned about, are more worried about me, while her parents are be, being so proud of it, proud of her for everything. So, so yeah. Although, my parents are not always concerned about me. Like, sometimes they can... Well, I don't know if, they, if they'd be proud of me if they would act like uh, Bo, Bo Hotu for Windy Whistles. But... But, yeah. But, anyway. This episode... Anyway, this episode... I'm getting a little too personal, but... This episode was fun. Like, I loved every single minute of it. It, had, it was funny... It was enjoyable. I think this is probably one of, probably the most enjoyable episode of the uh, season. You know, I really liked it. And what else do I have to say? Yeah, it was it was interesting seeing, you know, and oh, and. Like, you know how I mentioned before that I said it was going to be a Scootaloo episode and that it was going to be about Scootaloo learning to fly? Well, that threw my, that threw my, my theory out the window. So, yeah, it was about Scootaloo making a report and it was about Rainbow Dash's parents. Like, it was a Scootaloo Rainbow Dash centered episode. So, yeah. 
So, yeah, there was a lot of funny gags, and although that heartfelt moment where Scootaloo said that she wished she had parents like Rainbow Dashes, and, and you know, saying that, that she never grew, like saying that nobody ever told her that she'd be the best at anything, but that means that she doesn't have she uh, she's an orphan or came from a actually that proves the thing that I suspected that she either she's either an orphan or she comes from a dysfunctional family and she probably come like her parents are probably very dysfunctional and so she's looked up so she's looked after by her aunts at least I think that's what it is cuz well, I don't know for sure, and if that's the case, then maybe I'll have to put my story as alternate universe now. Or maybe not. Because... Well, maybe. I don't know. But maybe I'll might somewhere down the track. But... Yeah. I will say that moment really got to me. It, like, like, for that brief moment, really got to me. So, yeah. It was fun. And seeing Scootaloo at the end, like, when she presented her report, and... Although, she still kept that mold... That, that half-eaten sandwich in her book. That, that was a uh, pasta and potato sandwich on sourdough. I wonder, I wonder what that would taste like. Maybe I'll have to make it myself and see what it tastes like. Although, I think that the... The sandwich would probably be made of pasta and... Uh, potato. Possibly mashed potato, or maybe potato chips. And possibly mayonnaise. Well, who knows. And, you know, sourdough bread. I never thought that Rainbow Dash's favorite meal would be something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. So, yeah, I guess it was I guess it was interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, so uh anyway, this episode was fun. I'd definitely be watching this episode again, and I think after this, I'm going to have to go and watch every single other uh, reactor's episode, react like every other reactor's uh, reaction to this episode. If it is, I'm going to have so much fun because I'm going I'm to love them. Like, I wonder what their reactions would be. Yeah, I guess I'll have to find out. But, yeah, all in all... This episode was fun. I loved it. Probably my favorite episode of season 7 so far. So, yeah. I'd definitely be watching this episode again. Like, you know, I'll be watching it again and again. But, yeah. It was a fun episode. So, yeah. I guess I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed my blind commentary of episode 7 of season 7, and hopefully I'll get on to episode 8 as soon as I can when I get the chance. But as usual, until then, thank you all for watching. This is Raptamon132 saying bye bye everyone. Bye bye.